Baby Kitty Crafty. Skadabadaboo! Or hello, as we say in English. <laughs> Welcome again to, um, who are we? Creepy Kitty Crafty? I forgot who you were from. We are. Apparently. I don't know how you spell that. No, no. I don't know what that means. We're, we're Creepy Cutie Crepe. No, Creepy Cutie Crafty. Creepy Cutie Crafty. Oh, and um, today we've got another Sophie and Toffee Elves subscription box. We haven't done one of these for quite a while. In fact, this, this box has been sitting in our um, living room waiting for quite a long time. Um, for us to open it, hasn't it? We've had a bit of a madness over the last few weeks with um, the uh, the new lockdown and we've not been able to get some videos done. In addition, I, and a, with a little bit of Squink's help and and also the man behind the camera, we've um, done Gishaween, which is Gish for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And it was great fun and me and my team of, um, of, well I won't tell you the names because I don't want you to come and find us because we're all a bit weird. Me and my team have created some fantastic things and there's going to be a little bit of a montage thing going on at the, in the camera right now. Some, somehow the um, himself in, behind the camera is going to be doing some photo editing magic for you so you can see it. And Squinks is desperate to show you one of the items that I made for Gishaween. So do you want to hold that in there for sweetie? Oh, so we have this and this was a teeny tiny teeny tiny float for um, uh, a, a nose parade. You can tell it's for the nose parade because the final float has nose parade written on it. There you it's go. A bear. And this bus the teddy bear. This I own this one. No you don't. Mommy, you said you can oh, have you can, it. You can, you can have it, that's fine. So the, the, the nose parade is going to go and sit over there at the back because they're, they're not going to be part of this video because this video is, as I said earlier, about Sophie and Toffee again. Toffee? Yum. 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 I, I wish we had some Toffee right now, but we can't. Um, so, as you will recognise from many, many videos, we've got the Sophie and Toffee Elves box here. You probably know by now, um, this is a subscription box that you sign up for and you pay a monthly fee. Um, we get the premium box, which is... Uh, Twenty-eight ninety-five in US dollars, twenty-one pounds seventy-five in Great British pounds, and twenty-three ninety-eight in euros. Obviously, check their website, which you can see right there, um, to see that the actual prices. And you can also do like a build your own box and get some themes and things. They've got like Disney theme, and they've got horror themes, and they've got all sorts of themes. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, the 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 box before this was the Halloween box. Yeah. Happy Halloween. And happy Halloween for this week. Even though it was about like exactly a week ago. It was a week ago, yeah. <laughs> um, unfortunately, um, you've seen we've done quite a few uh, Sophie and Toffee Elves box openings, but we haven't had the time to do some um, Elves box making. Once again, I'll s say, just be aware that these are resin crafting boxes and I would not allow Squinks to use it without me supervising or Wait. without me handling it because this is not for kids it might be brightly colored it might be kawaii it might be cute but it is also quite dangerous so um we're planning on doing um some making sometime in the next couple of weeks but for now we just show you what's in the box and we'll plan our next make wait but mom didn't you see in the last video that i could do some of the making this time Yep, you can do some of the making, but we have to make sure that you're wearing a respirator and you're wearing gloves and we've got plenty of ventilation. And just we have to be make sure that, you know, you, you are being safe and not being silly. Because, you know, 10-year-old girls and 10-year-old boys, silliness happens, doesn't it? And when silliness happens, that is when accidents happen. Isn't it, Squinks? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, so, yeah. Um... I have had this box for at least a couple of weeks and I have not had the opportunity to open it. I don't even know what the theme is. Do you know what the theme is? Um, squid. It would be lovely if the theme was squid, but unfortunately it is not. Maybe it's a kiwi themed box. <gasps> or maybe it's a fruit themed box! What? A fruit themed box. A fruit themed? You're very excited by the fact that it might be fruit themed. That's <laughs> slightly worrying. Okay, so maybe shall we do theme. the grand unveiling? So maybe it's an animal theme. Ready? Steady. Go! And a 
Oh, they sent us an upside down box again. Okay, so. Okay, so here we go. We've got our lovely Elstein. I do love the um, the embossed writing on the front. You can feel it, and it's all it's sort calligraphy. Of iridescent. It's and calligraphy. It is calligraphy. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, no, this is a premium box. This is the premium box again, and for once, our box is not damaged at all, which is kind of a miracle. <coughs> It's very, very strange. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, after what happened last time, yep. we don't trust anything. Well, you don't trust anything anyway, because you're, <laughs> you're weird. Anyway, um, before we open the box, just remember to... Open, have fun. Uh, have fun, and to... Like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe, and tell us what you would like to see in an elves box in the future, and what kind of things you'd like to see us make. <gasps> And it would be cool to actually have a go at some um, challenges and some questions and things. Right, so, same as usual, we're going to take it one person at a time. So it's going to be... First. Me first, because you did it last time first. Uh, okay, I'm going to take this. <laughs> it's too sided. Hold on. Which hand is it in? <laughs> Which hand you is it in? You little... Come on. Uh, you go yeah! first! Yay! So, um, we'll move this to the back. Is that still on camera? It is still on camera. And it's Squinks' turn to go first. So, in you go then, Squinks. Oh, and we've got the book. The book doesn't it. count. <gasps> seascapes! Sea sea no, seascapes. Seascapes. Not caps. Or seascapes. Okay, and it's a resin art ocean coaster painting and decoration. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Ah, I'm, I'm not going to show you any of these. Oh, they're quite cool. <gasps> so, what's that? What's this? I have no idea. It looks like a knife. It's a knife. It's a knife. It looks like, oh, it's a spread, oh, it's a spreader and some gloves. I'm going, to, I'm, going to, I'm going to have a look and see what that is because that's quite see. interesting. Let me see. That's a silicon spatula, and we've got some disposable vinyl gloves. It's useful to have. We've already got some in before, so I think this is kind of like a top up of some of the tools. So let's put that over here. Mom. Yours. You're always the one who reads a booklet first, so you Okay. <laughs> well, so you go find it. I'm going to find another thing in here. <gasps> What's this? This is. Oh! I'm not even going to take this out of the, 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 the wrapping. This is <gasps> our scallop seashell. I see what and that would be useful to do yeah. a very sort of nice sea themed thing. And in case you didn't see it, that is the spatula and some vinyl gloves that Squint's pulled out. Alright, so we need to have this here so people can see it and we'll have a good look through later. So, one it. item. I feel something big and I will take it. Right, so this and is epoxy resin. Two part resin, I think that's one to one resin by the looks of it. Once again, I get the most dangerous object in the end. So let's have a look. That is one to one ratio epoxy resin. Yep, that's, that's absolutely exactly what it is. I think this is more of a practical box than usual because it's got more tools and things. My turn. Mm -hmm. I think I know what this is. It's probably very, very boring. Ooh. We've got some mixing cups. Yay! Now they say these are disposable. I don't really like disposable. You can get um, silicon cups that you can um, uh, um, wash and clean out and let the resin set into it and it, it all sort of cracks out. But, you know, I, I prefer not to use disposable plastic cups. I feel something... Well, that's good because it's a box full of some things. Oh my... Oh my God! Ooh. We get a canvas! It's not a canvas, <laughs> it's an easel, a little easel, a little display oh stand gosh. so that we can put our shell onto it. So okay, that's mine. Just I like own that. that. I own that. No, you don't. You <laughs> didn't pay for any of this, so you don't get the choice. Oh, oh right. in case you didn't see it when Squinks got it out of the, the box, there you go. That's the Sophie Toffee um, two-part epoxy resin. So it's one-to-one -one ratio, so for every one of this, you need to put one of these. Okay, so... I've got a great idea for My this. turn. We can do our little characters and then going. What? It'll probably collapse if you do that. Just do it on the table. <laughs> yeah, it's on camera. Right. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Uh. Another oh. pack 
of two part epoxy resin. Oh. So we've got enough of two projects there by the looks of it. Let's put that one on Maybe that side and that one on this side. Have accidentally put two. It's, it's possible. Let's check. So they've got the regular items. And oh look, this is uh, a premium add on. So that is the regular and that's the premium. It's basically we get an extra load of resin. That's not too bad. I'm not yeah. about that. Again, the resin, as you can see, is double wrapped in this plastic and it's already got a seal on the uh, the bottles, two seals in fact, because it is toxic, it's dangerous and you don't use it without ventilation. Okay. Didn't, you, didn't you get the last thing? No. You got the, the epoxy resin out? No, I didn't. What's okay. this? Ooh. It's a canvas. And it's got loads of things coming out as well. Oh no, that's um, a, a board so you can do like a seascape on the board. Yep, that yeah, can stand on there. Yep. Alright, my turn. I'm such oh, a great I artist. I think I know what this is. Oh look, it's a load um, of shells. shells. Oh, these are nice, a nice variety of shells. Well, you can see a pointy one there. Oh, that's a look. Can you one. see? Look, look, the um, look, that one there with the black and white stripes. And you've got some one. different... Uh, whelk shells and things. In fact, you can you can buy shells from pretty much any um, craft shop. You can mm -hmm. also just go down to the seaside and pick some off the beach mm -hmm. if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but you can't see. exactly go to the beach at this memorable time because it's um, not the best. And oh my gosh, I am having a very wooden day. But um, that, that I'm, makes I'm no dabbing sense. in the background. Well, well done for you. It's a nice piece of wood. Wait, wait, we can do sculptures on the thing. You could do sculptures or you could do Ooh. another resin seascape like that. I do a, I want to do a well, sculpture instead. I don't think we can do sculptures with this. Remember, again, remember, this is just to try out these different resins, these different things. So, as I say, the, the thing about the elves box is it's, you know, enough to try out some of these crafts and give things a go and um, to see what you want to do. And if you want to order more stuff from Sophie and Toffee, and if you can afford to, then why the heck not? Right, so it's my turn, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually three things, oh, four things stuck together. <gasps> I get to pick up four things So we've then. got this tape. Is that washi tape? It's not washi, washi tape, tape, it's see-through. It's, it's not, no, it's, oh. it's gummy tape. And we've got some Legal. some glitter, can you see? Yeah. Oh, we've got a little baggie full of uh, moss, or I suppose that could be seaweed, and a I'm bigger a bigger reel of filmy tape. I'm, I'm just going to quickly have a look in here and see what that tape is. Non-residue wide tape, non-residue thin tape. Ah, so this Ooh. is tape that you can yeah. use to seal the edges of these so that if you do a pour it doesn't drip off the side and then you take that off and it just doesn't leave any stickiness oh there's some fireworks going off in the background boom 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 that you yep, thank you Baldrick and guess what what it sounds like popcorn yeah unfortunately it doesn't taste like popcorn though. right you ready <laughs> I get to pick out four things. No. Because you picked out. I only four. picked out what felt like one <gasps> thing. Okay, so you picked up two. Okay. So what is it? It's dye. That is deep ocean seascape pigment. You can see there. It's a nice deep colour. And do you want to hold that up to the camera? We've got some sand there that you can uh, mix in with the resin, give it some texture. Yeah, that looks quite cool. Right, so it's my turn. Okay, so we're on to our last few objects. We've just had the sand and we've just had this blue pigment and... But before we carry on, if you hear any noises in the background, it's um, our, our dinner being cooked and guess what's being cooked? Body! Okay, so <laughs> let's look at the last part of this. I'll see if we can pick out a few pieces. I'm oh, so freaky. Oh. We've got um, some more little mixing cups, little disposable plastic cups. Don't, 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 don't separate them. They're meant to be with each other. You're forming an emotional attachment to some mixing cups. So you can see, 
I think they're quite pretty to be honest with you. You don't even need them to be. But I'm going to put those with that. On the 3rd of December, Mixing Cups, the movie. <laughs> okay, Squinks has finally lost it. So that's some white pigment. Hold it up to the camera. One so Remember how we said to, to hold it up to the camera? Mm -hmm. so. so this is white pigment and it reminds me of sea foam. Sea foam, so it's white seascape pigment. So yeah, mm -hmm. that'll go with that one. That's the blue of the sea and the white of the sea foam. Okay, so you've got the last item and it is uh, sand seascape pigment. So it's a sand seascape pigment which mm -hmm. will go with those two to create our lovely seascapes on these pieces of wood. And I think we've got one lot of resin for this piece and one lot of resin for this piece and whatever we can fit into the scallop shell as well I don't think there is one more thing <gasps> mine and it is more pigment I think my face went into the camera ocean so it's ocean blue seascape pigment so let's have a look this one is oh uh Deep ocean, it's deep ocean, and that's ocean blue, so that's on the surface, more sort of turquoisey, more sort of turquoise sea friendly sort of colour. Okay, so we've got some nice things to do two main projects with, and some extras to do some background projects with. I don't think there's anything else in there, but from some grit for some reason. I think that must have come off the, um, the, the seashells. So, again, a very good haul, a very exciting project to have a go at. I'm going to have a quick look through here. We've got, okay, so we've got the previous competition winners. Maybe one of these days me and Squinks will do a, um, a creative contest entry. That would be nice. Um, and the October creative contest is, well, it's basically going to be the Seascape one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So how can we do that creatively? Um, and so we've got the epoxy resin and the pigments, gloves and the mixing cups, the wooden coaster board, the spatula and the two types of tape as the regular items. And the premium add-ons is the wooden frame, this one. So I think with this one you actually, you don't need to use it that way, you can use it that way around and have something framed in the centre there. And I'm wondering... What do you think of that home middle with some sea foam coming up around the edges? I've got a great idea. Um, looking at that on there, it reminded me of a little sea creature called a turtle. Then we can draw a little turtle, we could put little arms on the front, put a little head, and we could draw a little turtle with a seashell on its back. Well, quite possibly, that's, that's, that's a possibility. Or maybe we can use some of these shells and put them around the edges of this and do a seascape in the middle. Mm. We can do all sorts of things. But like I say, this is just a try-out box, an experiment box, see what we can create. Um, big and small sea seashells, a wooden frame, and the easel. The easel was actually an add-on item. Um, the moss, the star sand, and the rainbow glitters were also add-on items. And the extra epoxy resin was an add-on item. Mm -hmm. So it's a completely separate second project that you can do. And it's given us in, in the instructions there so how to do um, the, uh, the, the seascape resin art. You can see there, yeah, that's the kind of thing that maybe we'll be attempting. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, to think. Oh, hold on. <gasps> Next month's theme, can you see that, Squinks? Mm -hmm. November box theme is... Floating shakes. Floating shakers. <gasps> so, we're going to have some shaker fluid, maybe, and some glitter and some things to, to float around in, in the things. And I think there's going to be milk. <laughs> maybe. But it's gonna be quite cool because we haven't done we did some sort of shakers for the, the, the with the practice box, the very very first one. But it'll be nice to have another go. Hopefully it'll get here in time considering everything that's happening in the US of A and everything that's happening over here with the new lockdown and stuff, but we'll see what we can do. You can see that's all the, the stuff that we've got in this one tiny box. We've had all of this stuff, it's quite a lot. And um we're starting to think about maybe ordering a special um design our own box for christmas maybe i'll get myself some things to make bubble tea with maybe i'll get some things to do some more halloweeny things got some other bits and pieces we want to try out and like i say now that we've got the lockdown hopefully we will have some time to do some more making um obviously me and squinks are inveterate crafters but hopefully we'll have some time to do some more 
obviously in these uncertain times please stay safe and keep in touch and we wish you all the best and bye bye thanks for watching bye bye